Okay, so our next group, um, Justin Evans, Erica Porter, and Caitlin Huber. And Justin, you'll see, is he's here via video because he's at an ADA uh, intellectual property conference where he was asked to come there as a, as a young fellow, so that was a great opportunity for him. So we have a video of Justin, who's gonna kick things off and then turn it over to Erica and Kate. My uh, first piece of um, came in here, and we work with Ackerman uh, Data Law Center, which is run by Jeff and Cher. Um, so he gave us a project for our litigation class, in which he wanted us to come up with an app that would help his clients streamline their um, trademark infringement uh, process. So trademarks um, and copyrights and also patents are very critical for a company. It's one of their most important assets. And um, companies need to protect these um, assets because it's, it's very important um, for them going forward. And um, one of the ways that they protect it is by sending cease and desist letters in which they're able to tell other companies to stop um, infringing on their rights in the marketplace. Um, and these are protected by federal law. And the way that they respond is very important. It's very time dependent. And the current process now takes them over two weeks to draft the cease and desist letter, which means that that's a lot of time in which their brand is being affected. So what we want to do is to use um, a tool that will allow for us to streamline the process by using a smart system that would allow for us to reduce this two minutes down to 30 minutes. And so we decided to use Eologic, and Eologic allowed for us to use process improvement, um, uh, if-then statements, and the like to allow for us to um, automate this process and get it down to a reasonable time and allow for these cease and desist letters to be the same no matter who you use it within the company and it allows for you to empower anyone that's within the company to send out these cease and desist letters. Thank you. Okay, well now that Justin gave us a little bit of an overview of the broad scope of the project, <laughs> I will take you into a little bit deeper look at the solution. We worked with Ackerman Data, or Ackerman Law with Jeffrey Scher, and he helped us create um, a hybrid solution that is, uh, it's a blend between an expert advisor and a document autom automation. Um, we focused on superior rights, likelihood of confusion, and dilution as the three legal issues that we would um, decide during the interview. Um, determining superior rights is not always a, it's not always an issue that you need to um, come to a conclusion on. So in the interest of efficiency, we allowed the user to skip past the, all of the questions regarding that if they've already determined that they have them. Um, the different conclusions that the system comes to are reached through various types of reasoning. Um, here is an example of the if-then reasoning that the system uses. Um, the decision trees are one of the other tools that we used that allow, that keep track of a multitude of if-then statements and rules that allow the system to come to a compound reasoning. Um, the likelihood of confusion, we use the Fifth Circuit Court um, test for that, uh, for that, <laughs> excuse me, for that question, and they're weighted depending on how important they are to the claim. We also have a two-part analysis of the claim and defense, so you also, not only do you get to establish whether or not there is a claim for a trademark infringement, you also get to look at the different defenses that may be applicable. In order to to maintain control, or in order to give the user the ultimate control, the system will come to conclusions based on the various issues, but it allows the user to decide whether or not they want to address that in their final letter. 
As you're going through the app, there are some links to pertinent law and useful websites that provide guidance. Information will be shown in a pop-up format, like shown. Others will take you to outside sources. Here you see the link to the USPTO that would take you to the site to find the client's or infringer's registration number. And then, with the inputs provi provided by the user, along with the guidance of the app's thinking process, this information will be used in the auto population of the cease and desist letter at the end if the user chooses to have the letter generated and if the rights are superior. You will then have the ability, based on these inputs, to access reports, which is a synopsis of the data that was provided, which can be accessed at a later date, um, do even during and after. And a report can also be shown which breaks down whether and why the client may or may not have these superior rights. At the end, a draft letter will be generated based on the CSENSIS template and based on the user's information and the input that was given. It also lays out the law and notifies the infringer of action that can be taken if infringing activity does not stop. At the end, the user has the option of filling out a survey. With suggestions for improvement, we can always add to and improve the application for further client and business satisfaction and the changing needs of the legal field. Here at Michigan State University College of Law, we are very fortunate to have programs and classes to take us to prepare us to pra be practice ready and get on board with the technological advancements and the changing legal field. We also have the legal R&D program here. In one semester, in one class alone, besides creating an innovative system and working with our project partner and process automation using applications like Neotologic and ThinkSmart, we also learn process improvement skills, process mapping, which is limiting ways to improve quality, data-driven law foundations, lean thinking and legal service delivery, and also this process automation. As you can see, the legal field has been adapting to these technological advancements, and it is imperative that the legal field implements these data-driven applications, such as Neotologic. We see value not just utilizing technology, but embracing it, working with it, as though it were like a partnership. In conclusion, these data-driven applications are beneficial in saving lawyers and businesses time, money, and most importantly, the improvement of overall client satisfaction through the delivery of legal services that are more efficient and effective. Thank you.